I just wanted to show you the swing stopped working we got it for like 10 bucks at Goodwill and it just stopped working and I figured out the problem with it and while it was inside in the guts with the circuit board um, I decided you know what forget going on battery powered the um, the the thing took four and a half volts so I was like man USB is like five volts so I hooked it up USB check it out as you can see I know it kind of looks a little bit rigged right there but that was just so wide if he ever pulls on the cord it has some strength won't pull out but uh that's hooked inside of the swing and it hooks up USB yeah so I can run this off my computer I can run it off anything we're gonna get a um uh, 20 amp hour solar powered USB battery bank and we're gonna hook it up outside and run a USB cord inside to power it and solar power her swing so it'll be completely green I also ordered a uh, USB not USB a uh, little cheap Bluetooth amplifier amplifier module I'm gonna throw in there with a speaker so we can uh, play audio and stuff her to listen through listen to through bluetooth we um i'm also going to when i do that and have to take it all apart again i'm going to re-grease it because that's what's uh why it's squeaking right now but uh we're going to paint the metal parts pink the green parts black um we're going to paint the green tray black and then we're going to make a pink fabric to go over it so it's going to be a pink and black swing with Bluetooth control on the audio. And I'm even thinking about throwing in a remote uh, uh, control function on the uh, speed sensor. Which basically, uh, the speed coming off the board would then go into this, rem uh, this little chip that would then connect to the motor. And with that, you would only be able to set the speed on 6, but then you can remotely control how fast with a remote. From, you can slow it down to like five, four, three, two, or one, or whatever custom speed you want it. But yeah, a little ingenuity right there.